Uh, I'm making a overlocking mat today. I have one for my sewing machine, as you can see. I don't have one for my overlocker, and the reason is I've just not got around to making one. So I'm going to put my sewing machine aside for a minute, a minute and pop my overlocker here. What I need is a fat quarter piece of foam and optional extra. You can have a contrasting fa uh, fabric if you're making pockets. Let me show you what to do. I've put my overlocker on there and you can see I've got full um, protection for all the feet and some space around it. So measure the whole of that width. Let's do that again. So from there to there, we've got 32 centimetres and from the front to the back, I've got 28 centimetres. And that's going to give me ample space for my overlocker. I've got more fabric than I have uh, foam, which is great because it allows for seam allowances. You don't need that because actually what I'm going to do is sew all the pieces together. So what I'll do here is draw a straight line. So the foam's not quite straight. So if I... mark all that together and what I'm going to do is just hold that down I'm going to just cut a straight line now it looks a bit jaggedy there but that's okay this is cut so what we need to do is just place that fabric with good sides together if there were two separate pieces put those two pieces like that and just place the foam back on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to match up the two pieces like that to the edge of your foam. Make sure the sides meeting and make sure the um, front piece is meeting as well if you've not got the overlap I have. So if you can, get some long pins. If you've got pegs, peg along the sides. I've got some pins here. And just make sure you're careful with matching all the edges along there. Let's sew that. Okay. So we're just going to overlock the three sides. Now I could go around the corner, but I think for this task I won't. I'll just remove that pin. So that's the three sides done. Let's move this out of the way. And then we can get that out of the way. Okay, so that's our three sides done. What we do then is we just grab the inside of our mats and just pull it through like so, dead easy. And that's essentially it really. And then you could just overlock this side down and that's your mat. But we're going to be a little bit more clever than that. And I just fold that overlocking down so that it doesn't cause a bulky corner. And there you go. So you can press that now. So if I now, think okay I'm going to overlock that piece there and I flip it over that will give me the pocket that I have on this mat move the overlocker there so can you see here I've got pockets so I've got beige fabric there and I've carried on the same fabric at the bottom there and that's what I'm going to do with this piece so what I need to do is overlock that to that and that will give me my pockets but we're going to put the pockets on first so we need to make sure we've got the same measurements as we have over there 
So I'm going to overlock the edges of this first so that they can be sitting neatly on the edge of this. You can uh, take it to the sewing machine and hem it. Um, so the width of our the width of our mat is 28, so I'm going to make this 28. So let's mark that up. 28. Do it again further down. 28. And that will make sure that I get a nice straight line. So just match the 28s up. It doesn't look very straight. Let's just check that again. 28. And is it 28 there? Slightly out. So that's how wide our pocket um, hang is going to be. So then we need to make sure that we've got um, the blue fabric for our pocket. So what I'll do is I'll just have it a little bit bigger in the overhang. I'm going to leave it as half of that back horse piece. And I need to decide how deep these pockets are going to be. Now, if I leave that there, I maybe fold over a little bit, just sort of gauge it as much you want. Go and press it so then you've got a nice, neat um, edge. And I just seem to happen to have the fold on the right place that I need it to. So what I'll do is I'll overlock the edge there. I might as well just um, blind hem it to that. So all you do to blind hem is you fold over the piece and you just push it back so that you've got the edge of the overlock hanging over so it looks like an S. Have it hanging over and I'm going to put that fold between the two needles. Now if you don't want to do that with between the two needles, what you could do is um, take the left the right needle out and that gives me my hem so if I decide I'm just going to have a pocket in the middle there let's have it that way because that's less wonky there so it's a little bit bigger what I'll do is I'll just have two pockets so what I need to do is just fold the fabric in half. I'm just going to sew an overlock edge along there. So no cutting involved. So I'm going to just place that in half. So make sure my blue fabric underneath is completely pushed against the calico there. And if I just put a couple of pins in there so that it holds steady. So just further back doesn't need to be on the edge and we're not cutting any fabric away so if you want to remove your cutter do that your knife do that um, I'm going to trust myself with this so just place it right up against the knife pins out now and there I've got my two pockets there so then all I need to do is we will fold this over like that so that we can have the good sides of this together so did you see what we'll do we'll do it again in a mob so So I've rolled up one pocket and folded it inside the other. And just bring it back out again. So that's a neat pocket there and it's folded over there. So what we do, so let me just show you again. So fold, oh, roll over one pocket 
flip the top of that pocket over to match the calico underneath. Okay, now you can pin this into place if you'd like. If you want to add a couple of pins, do. Um, make sure it matches when you do. And then we're just going to sew that down. just flip it all back through and there you go you've got two very neat pockets there now one's a little bit bigger and it's ended up being a box pocket which is fine because what that means is a little bit bigger for me to hold items in there so that when I overlock the bottom I'm going to just pleat the pocket in there and take this to the iron and press it. And pleat this pocket in like that so we can fold the blue onto the calico and make sure it folds neatly onto there. Okay. Do that again on that side box it down and make sure it sits nice and flat. So we've got a box pleat there and a box pleat there. So I've got a nice big wide pocket for all my trims there. Okay so I've given it a good press and all I'm doing now is just cutting off that excess fabric that I had hanging over Okay, like that. Let's get rid of that. Now, um, my pockets are a little bit less wide than they should have been. Um, I should have measured an extra allowance, um, maybe another one inch. So allowed um, half an inch there for the two pockets there and another one um, for those. So I think we're actually short by one and a half inches there. So what's that in centimeters? So we needed actually another three and uh, four centimeters. So we're down by four centimeters. So when I measured this across, you need to allow an extra four centimeters on your calico and then also on your blue fabric. So apologies there, but we're gonna carry on anyway because um, I'm not going to chuck this project just because I've done it wrong. And, um, that's what sewing is about, isn't it? It's making mistakes, learning from them, and then deciding, yeah, it'll do. Um, and it'll look good anyway, and it's functional. So let's bring our machine back, and let's overlock the last bit. And that's our mat. Take those pins out. Really press that over that way. And there we go. Pockets are a little bit smaller than they should have been, but hey ho, um, it's centered. My mat fits on. Uh, it fits perfectly underneath. I've got a trim pocket there to catch. I can put my tools there. 